is your first time, I'm going to let you shoe them here. Tamayo Holmes is showing these men how to shoe a horse. They are inmates at the James River Work Center in rural Virginia. Holmes himself spent eight years as a prisoner here and learned his farrier skills through a special program called Greener Pastures. Once I got into the program, it's just like, uh, how do you say, uh, it just opened me up. You learn how to trust, you know, honesty and uh, loyalty. From then on, I was, my mind was set that this is what I'm going to do and this is what I want to do. Now a free man, Holmes often returns to the prison to share what he learned. Feel that side there. But I want the boys to understand. You have to have confidence in yourself. Most importantly, as I'll teach them, is that you have to have a good work ethic. I mean, it's not just about shoeing, but it's a lot about multiple other things that you can do in life. The six-month Greener Pastures program is a collaboration between the Virginia Department of Corrections and the nonprofit Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation. <laughs> designed to provide a safe place for retired racehorses and train nonviolent inmates to care for them. He's a pretty little blonde, ain't you? Every day, inmates in the program arrive at the barn to feed and groom their assigned horses and check them for injuries. The training also prepares them to get jobs once they're released from prison. Among the 22 thoroughbreds being cared for here is Covert Action, grandson of the legendary 1973 Triple Crown champion, Secretariat who was dubbed America's Super Horse. You're welcome, sir. Warden Harris Diggs is responsible for the program at the James River Work Center. And it was interesting to see the relationship that the offenders had with the horses and the relationship that the horses had for the offenders. These horses were thoroughbred race horses. Uh, nobody wanted them any longer. And I said, you know, there's some similarity between the horse's plight and the offender's plight. That bond is evident. I've grown up a lot since being incarcerated. My, my outlook on life now is more positive. My future seems to be more positive. Uh, these horses, the program is second chances for the horses, but it's a second chance for me also. It makes you feel like a human being again, because when, you know, when, you, when you're incarcerated for a long time, you lose that. But you can see, can't you? These horses seem to, you know, look at these men and you look back at the horse and it's almost like you can see your soul in their eyes. Well, let's go feed some horses, what do you say? Ann Tucker is president of the James River chapter of the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation, which was started to save racehorses from possible neglect, abuse, and slaughter. It's a very powerful connection. And most of these men have never experienced that before. And that may be part of what gives them this new sense of who they are. Try to angle it straight, like that, towards the front a little bit. Warden Diggs says he is happy with his decision to allow Tamayo Holmes to return to the prison to teach the inmates. We have to take calculated risk. And that was a calculated risk that I was willing to take. And it has worked out wonderfully because they can now see that they can grow and that the system that incarcerated them is also willing to give them a second chance. Come on, Tater! A system that has created a win-win situation for both man and horse. Hey, come on, Ace! Julie Tabo, VOA News, Goochland County, Virginia. Richie, what are you doing?